Okay, welcome back to another video of the Bootstrap development course. So, in the last video, we created our description. Looks really nice. And in this video, we're gonna create our people also bot. So that is this one. And we're gonna be we're gonna work with Bootstrap cards, and we're gonna work with different kinds of columns. So, inside the code, we're gonna check where the um, Where the container stops, that's this container, and there we're gonna call div class, and we're gonna call this um, product product container, and we're gonna close it. And inside there we're gonna call a row. Oh, we're gonna call div class of row, and. Inside this row, also again, we're gonna give this another name, and that's gonna be um, header row. Okay, and inside there, we're gonna call a column div class, and I think we're gonna do two separate rows. So this means we're gonna put one row with the people also bought, and under there, we're gonna do a row with three different cards. So. In here we're gonna do we're gonna need a call dash sm12, and I think you already know call dash md dash 12, call dash lg dash 12, and call dash xl dash 12. I'm sure at the end of this course, the only thing you were hear here all day is me calling up columns. I'm sure of it, but that doesn't matter, does it? So we're gonna call an h3 here. And we're gonna give this the H3 the product name the product class. So class product name because it already has the colors we need. And we're gonna call this people also bot. Save it. And I just thought we can't use the H3 because we need a separate separate uh, a line for it. So we're just gonna call this um, by dash h3. So inside the index.css, we're gonna make some space. We're gonna create a comment and we're gonna call this product container. And in here we're gonna call the by well dot by dash h3. We're gonna give this a color of RGB 474747, so you can already choose this one. And we're gonna give this a text align of center. Save both files. And let's see how this looks. Okay. And we're gonna give that one, we're gonna give that row, that is the header row, above the by three. We're gonna call dot header row and we're gonna give this some margin dash top of 30 pixels let's see how this looks that looks pretty cool <laughs> okay so now we're gonna check where the row ends and at mine that is on line 138 we're gonna call div class of row and we're gonna call this hmm Products. No, we already have a product row, I think. Do we? We actually don't. Okay, that's perfect. So we're gonna call this product row. Okay, so in that row, we need three cards. And so I think we're gonna create three columns. Yeah, I think we're gonna create three columns. So we're gonna call div class of call dash sm dash 12 call dash md dash 3 call dash no we're gonna call call md dash 4 call dash lg dash 4 call dash xl dash 4 mm, i think we're gonna change the call md to call md 6 later but i'm not sure about it yet first we're gonna see how the cards look on the screen so we're gonna copy paste this one three times. And now we go to the Bootstrap website, so getbootstrap.com. 
we go to components and we're gonna click the cart okay so as you can see we have like a handy dandy cart already ready and we're gonna copy that one copy and we're gonna paste it in the first column we're gonna paste it so we're gonna give this the first thing we're gonna do we're gonna give this an image source and we're gonna call this images dash I think it was xtr dot png let's check if this was the right image no it wasn't so let's check the skeleton project images oh it was display okay so we're gonna call display save it oh pretty cool okay so why is this core md4 core md4 core md4 okay yeah that's actually okay and we're also gonna copy this card and we're gonna paste it in the column force let's save it let's see how this looks okay later we're gonna delete the borders not yet first thing we're gonna do we're gonna call the card so under by x3 we're gonna call dot card we're gonna give this a border of none we're gonna give this a margin dash left of auto margin dash right of auto let's save both files okay perfect and we're gonna give the um, the row so the products row on the top of on the heater row dot products row we're gonna give this a margin dash top of 20 pixels let's see how this looks Kapow. maybe a little bit more maybe we do 30 yeah this is a lot better so then we're gonna do the um, the card title so let's see we have the card title so on the card we're gonna call dot card dash title and we're gonna give this a text align of center and we're gonna give this a color of RGB 474747 let's see what happens truly 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 amazing I'm really happy with this <laughs> so and then we also have the H5 of the, the P but we're gonna delete the P gonna delete the P and I think we're gonna give this the P we're gonna give that an H4 of class card title close it and we're gonna call the price so in this case that is gonna be um, it's gonna be 2399 two three nine nine dot nine nine save this let's see how this looks okay and we're gonna give that one some spacing as well so card title we're gonna give this a second second uh, class and we're gonna no we're just gonna do h4 so under there we're gonna do h4 and we're gonna give this some margin dash top of 30 pixels yes perfect so we're gonna copy the the h4 here and we're gonna take away the, all the paragraphs and the other cards because we don't need them save it so the first price is gonna be 6999 and the second price that's gonna be 1999 1999 okay and and we're gonna change the um, let's show this looks okay 
and then actually we're gonna change the images as well so we have the lazy that is the second one so first we're gonna lazy and the last one is gonna be mm, Samsung I think save it Ooh, he's like really big Hmm. Okay. Um, hmm. We're gonna fix that. So the first thing is gonna do. We're gonna change the H5 online 144 to Apple X VR display. The second one is gonna be uh, lazy too big. And the third one is gonna be external SSD. SSD. Save it. And now we're gonna call the card image top. We're gonna call that one. Hmm. And on the H4, we're gonna call that. Oh. We're gonna call that one and we're gonna give this a max. No, we're gonna give this a width of 18 RAM and 18 RAM that is um, RAM is also like um, a size you can use because we also use 18 RAM over here and we're gonna give this a height of maybe 12 RAM let's see what happens let's see how this looks let's check let's check in the Identity Inspector. Yeah, this looks actually really nice. So let's see what happens if we resize it. You can see we have a small overlapping there, but I don't think it's going to be a problem. But what we can do is we change the COMD for, we're going to change that to 6. And let's see how this looks. Oh, save it. So when the screen gets too small, it goes to MD6. And after that, it goes to 12. So that's pretty cool. Okay. So we're going to do the button next. And that's going to be button primary. But we are going to call the, um, uh, the buy button. So we're going to copy the whole buy button here. And we're going to change the href. As well, save it. Let's see what happens. Kapow. As you can see, pretty cool. It looks really nice. And we're gonna give this some spacing when the form when the when the screen gets smaller. So under product.info, product info, we're gonna do dot um, cart. And we're gonna give this a margin dash top of 20 pixels let's see how this looks hmm. as you can see the button i think the button is going outside of its um, outside of the constraint here yeah as you can see it goes outside so maybe we're gonna change the um, Maybe we're gonna change the we're gonna copy and paste the buy button and we're gonna paste it on the card image top and we're gonna call this buy dash two and in here the buy button we're also gonna change to dash two dash two and dash two okay looks great and we're gonna give this a width of 250 save it 
let's see how yeah this looks a lot better actually and instead of uh, width of pixels we could also use RAM so let's say we're gonna call 16 RAM in this case then we are sure that it fits inside the um, inside uh, the card this looks really really nice we did a great job here so let's look at the resizing if it looks nice hmm. maybe we can add a little bit more spacing but we're gonna call the 860 here as well so we're gonna call dot card we're gonna give this a margin dash top of 20 pixels let's save both files let's check it out Yeah, this is perfect. So guys, we actually finished our buy um, our extra people also bought container. Now we're gonna finish up with uh, the footer. And after that we will finish this section. So oh, last thing we're gonna do, under the container here, on line 172 we're gonna do the um, footer of class um, footer class footer dash um, scorch close it and we're gonna call on the buy we're gonna create a new comment we're gonna call footer and we're gonna call dot footer dash scorch we're gonna give this a height of 100 pixels and we're gonna give this a background color of RGB 474747 let's save both files let's see how it looks maybe we need to make it a little bit more maybe 200 yeah this looks nice and actually we're gonna give the footer the footer scorch on margin top margin dash top of 50 pixels let's see how this looks yeah so now we have actually a little bit of space between them right and last but not least inside the footer we're gonna go we're gonna do um, uh, p of class uh, disclaimer and we're gonna call here dev scorch 20 20 so uh, instead of putting dev scorch you can put your own name there so you can guy you guys can add it to your portfolio and we're gonna in the css we're gonna call dot disclaimer and we're gonna give this a text align of center a color of white and we're gonna give this a font size of 14 pixels and we're gonna give this a margin dash top of 180 pixels save it let's see what happens oh nope maybe padding what, do, what happens if we do padding yes exactly so we created the footer let's see how it looks on yes this looks really nice so i want to congratulate you guys you guys actually finished our scorch shop um it looks really nice i thought the design were bigger no actually it doesn't so in this video you learned how to use rows you learned how to work with different kinds of columns on the same row you learned how to use the bootstrap navigation you learned how to copy and paste um, a bootstrap uh, form and how to use it and how to change it you learned how to you work with column 6 you learned how to you how to use column of uh, bootstrap colors you learned how to use with uh, how to work with column 12 column 3 and co uh, column 4 as well and we learned about bootstrap buttons and we did an amazing job our website actually looks nice on a big screen it looks by nice on a, on a medium screen and it also looks nice on a mobile screen 
and we got and we actually built or we actually used a mobile ready navigation bar from bootstrap so you guys did an amazing job here good job i'm really proud of you and i hope you start to understand how powerful bootstrap can be bootstrap doesn't have a lot of limitations you can almost do everything with it and that is what bootstrap what makes bootstrap really great so this is also the end of this section uh, in the next section we're actually going to build something really amazing uh, i think you're going to like it it's really professional really amazing and just cool so thank you for watching this video thank you for following me, following me in this section and let's go on to the next section and Let's build something really amazing. So, see you later.